Hey guys, today we're going to a part of the ranch that my daughters, that are right behind me, have never been to. It's very overgrown, but as a kid, me and my cousins, well my whole family actually used to play out here. It's, it, it, this part of the, of the ranch is about 87 acres, I think, and it's just been, um, for you know a long time and so everything's overgrown and but back in the day it was a field it was actually the most scenic part of the farm had had hills um, roads and there is a lake back here that my I think my uncles made it probably back in the 50s I'm thinking 50s or late early 60s 60s well they've long passed and they uh we have this land here now that's been just overgrown whatnot and you can't i've gotten lost out here i've actually have trying to find the trying to get to the lake and i can't find it uh so we're going to try to navigate through this Thick brush. I've uh, I brought this M16 here with me because there's hogs back here, uh, and just in case we get one that's a little bit rowdy, I can dispatch it. Hopefully. Uh, okay. So it's it's been raining a lot down here. Uh, in Texas and it's normally not this green in July <coughs> um, so we don't normally have this much overgrowth I know it hasn't been this way in a long time and uh, it's making it extra hard to get to the lake but I think we're getting close to it actually we call it a tank down here when it's man-made because this was made for the cows to uh, have a water source and uh, that's the original intention of this lake slash tank as we call it here in Texas. I think we're getting close. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're still a little lost. What I was gonna show the girls is this used to be all open grassland about 30 years ago. And there was a road that went right through here. And this was a makeshift blind. Probably used 30 years ago, 25 years ago. These pallets, and you would just sit down there and wait for the deer to come. So, I missed the lake. It's actually downhill from here. So I kind of know where I'm at. Should be this direction. I'm hoping. <laughs> what a maze. Okay. I found the lake. We're going to be quiet. Usually there's ducks and geese in here. And as soon as they see us, they'll, they'll scram. But want to see if we can sneak up on it. Huh, I don't see any right now. Huh, I guess not. The tank's really overgrown because, like I said, all the rainfall that we've been having. There's a boat that's been here for about 40 years probably just around over here it was long forgotten like six months ago I came and dug it up it was overgrown with brush and whatnot and I got it out and surprisingly it floats it's an old Chrysler boat a little it's a pretty good sized boat like a 
12 footer I'm thinking maybe a little bigger check that out guys look how so to my daughters they've never been back here so this is all new to them but oh man I hope the boat's not in the water because it overgrown where I put the boat is probably underwater oh no I'm gonna have to wait till the water goes down to get the boat out let me put my my gun down let's see if we can find the boat okay so we found the boat I just turned it over uh, we're gonna get out on this water like I said, it's, it's hitting. Nobody comes down here. I'm probably the only one that's come down here in years. Anyway, let's see if we can... This boat floats. watching and we're just gonna park this boat <laughs> we don't have the right paddles to do anything I didn't bring no fishing poles or anything and plus it's gonna get dark after a while we need to head back we don't want to be walking through that jungle in the dark 
Thank you. Bye. Say hi to Facebook, Henry. Hey girls, you're on Facebook, whether you like it or not. <laughs> hey, what? What are you drinking, Henry? Bud Light. Bud Light? <laughs>